how I got into fashion was just, you know, my upbringing with my parents and, you know, my family and my surroundings coming outside and just seeing everything, the whole lifestyle transpire in front of me from seeing Marvin Gaye with the all blue denim suit with the red scully on, like, you know what I'm saying? Run DMC with the leathers and these shell toe Adidas with their crowns on. Like, I still had no idea that I was gonna be a stylist. I didn't know any of that existed. So as far as that, you know, my big homie Groovy Lou brought me into the industry. And so, you know, shadowing him for years and, you know, being on the sets with B.I. and all of that and with Diddy and traveling the world from Barcelona to Morocco and all that. That right there was just an experience that, you know, I wouldn't trade that for anything. So it was basically, instead of going to school, it's like I was attending the University of Bad Boy Entertainment, Sean John, and I was roaming the halls with the hottest principal at the time, and it was free on-hand tuition. A day in the life of Mike B usually starts off with giving God thanks for just, you know, giving me another day to my house, my family, and all that. And just giving me a job, you know what I'm saying? Got Mike Epps in town with the uh, cast of Sparkle. You know, he's just running around town doing a few press things. Today we're doing um, MTV. Just went to Barney's and beat that up real quick. We're on our way to his hotel. I'm about to get him fresh real quick. And then, uh, rest of my flow for today's mission. I got a beautiful team right now that I'm putting together, the Maison of Bogart, and it's, it's, it's basically gonna be the house of Bogart, the, the lifestyle, culture, fashion, right? Where um, I'm putting together this conglomerate of young journalists, videographers, and stylists, designers, buyers, every walks of life pertaining to fashion. Today, my groom is not so well tight. And that, that was by choice because right now, I'm on my grind. You know, I'm still keeping it a little rough around the edges, but still fly with it. Now, what's going on now in the industry comparing to those days, I think the flyest person that comes outside every day is a person who, who can be a chameleon and switches his style up every day and you just don't even know where he's coming from, like, you know what I mean? But some cats have that everyday uniform, like a Carl Lagerfeld where he's coming out with his black and his white or his all black and then boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, not everything works for everybody, but at the same time, what works for you, I say, just keep it going, you know what I mean? Stay within your characteristic and try not so hard to be somebody else, like, you know what I mean? Fashion trends come and go, but you know true style is forever. <laughs>